looking for that fast 128 gigabytes great specs phone with nfc on a budget price i have the best thing here for you welcome to my nubia z17 mini limited edition honest in-depth review now the nubia brand is zte's own brand in asia the same ones who made the Axon phone so this is a quality phone this is not a 2g or black view or home tom this is fine first class made device and it's elegant with the limited edition aurora blue it's simply breathtaking this is a small compact phone but has all the great features like still having a headphone jack usb type c nfc fast snapdragon 653 whole 6 gigabytes of ram and 128 gigs of expandable storage phone weighs around 150 grams and inside the box you get a charger and cable the charger supplied can charge your battery for around two hours but if you have a quick charge 3.0 charger it will do so for an hour and a half the phone does support 4g and voice over lt on top of that nfc support that i know most of you love i keep getting the same question i need a great budget phone with 128 gigs of phone post storage nfc and small and compact but this is it the z17 mini aurora blue limited edition is what you need and of course you know it's nubia phone by that awesome red light on the bottom button which can be used as a notification light and it also lights up when charging the nubia z17 mini is running the nubia ui and it has all those lovely features like the edge sense where you can use to switch between applications and of course my favorite shake to clear the background apps the z17 mini is an outstanding device but let me tell you the display on this phone is absolutely incredible very deep black ips and it gets super bright no matter how sunny it is outside you'll definitely be able to view anything no this is not an 18 by 9 full view phone but the display quality is mesmerizing at this price point as was with the original z17 because of nubia's technology to enhance sunlight visibility is perhaps the best one on the market when it comes to lcd ips the color reproduction saturation is just as good as any amoled display this is an amazing display at this price and check out the speaker quality as well but most of you want to know about the performance the Z17 Mini is a 5.2 inch 4 HD IPS device and it does have 6 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of onboard storage and the high end Snapdragon 653 as well as all the sensors you need like gyroscope, compass and of course real dual rear camera Sony IMX sensors and the Snapdragon 653 absolutely annihilates any Snapdragon 625, Helio P25 and Kirin 659 phone when it comes to benchmarks. The Nubia Z17 Mini is a class above when it comes to performance with the Snapdragon 653 on any phone you can buy right now at around 200 250 even at 300 dollars and the storage code was also quite good now if you're concerned about battery life because this does have 2900 mAh power battery don't beat the Nubia UI and the Snapdragon 653 are very power efficient and it delivers around five to seven hours of screen on time on a single charge with around two days of moderate and heavy usage the modem on this thing was amazing 4g speeds and connectivity absolutely blew away anything i've tested in this price range and it's just as good as the snapdragon 821 the gps lock was insanely fast even from inside my house on top of all of this but what about actual performance of the phone the snapdragon 653 and the nubia z17 mini is a blazing fast multitasking machine thanks to the great software from zte those edges gestures which help you switch between your recent apps very quickly and that awesome awesome split screen multitasking you can do with if you can run two games at once if you want you can run any app you want from your phone it's just something that no other device offers and if you're concerned about gaming the snapdragon 653 again with the higher grade graphics card inside can play all the latest games with great frame rates the Snapdragon 653 from Qualcomm, as I've mentioned a lot of times in this review, is a step above from the Snapdragon 625, Helio P25, Kirin 659 or any chip which the companies are selling right now at these price points. 
as you can see into the depth to the new Morphite which is essentially uh, No Man's Sky for Android uh, and uh, the heaviest racing game CSR Racing to have no issues running great on the Nubia Z17 Mini limited edition so yes to answer it shortly the Z17 Mini is a great gaming phone at this price what about cameras? The Z17 Mini is a monster feature which pack camera experience. It has anything you need, portrait mode, full ball manual mode, uh, HDR, 4K video recording, it just have everything. On the back there are two Sony IMX258 sensors, one monochrome, one colored, just like in the Huawei P9 and it does deliver very close to that Huawei P9 camera experience. The photos I've taken in OK to good lighting conditions are super fast, there's phase detection, autofocus and there's plenty of detail available. The Nubia Z17 Mini can handle almost any situation with uh, as good results as any $250 phone on the market out there like the Xiaomi Mi A1, the Honor 7X, Mate 10 Lite or any phone I've reviewed in this price range. On top of that, it has one of the best face detection autofocus I have ever used in a phone. Snapping uh, any movable objects in good lighting condition will result in great photos. Indoor shots with lower light are also very, very good. So any shots in the mall or in your house will look even great. When it comes to very low light shots, if you use the auto settings, you will get a bit less detail, but turn on pro mode. Set the ISO to 1600, hold the phone steady and set the aperture to an eighth of a second and you will get amazing low light shots. The front camera is a 16 megapixel sensor and it's one of the best selfie cameras I've tested in a budget device. So the Nubia Z17 Mini is for me a definitely worthy camera experience. Even very low light selfies are more than okay for social medias. 4K video recording no problems check out this amazing video quality yes it doesn't have optical stabilization it's a bit shaky but the quality is absolutely amazing imagine if sitting all the way up there and i can use the zoom to actually see you indoor outdoor shots the 4k video does not show any signs of choppiness lagging or whatever it's just very good video even in the lowest line situations you can still use the 4k video without lag and the first view from the front camera is very good. Well, I definitely think the front camera is very, very good for vlogging. It's a 60. So, if you're looking for that high storage, high specs, NFC included, amazing phone with compact size, the Nubia Z17 Mini is absolutely the best choice on the market. You can buy from the link in the description below. Give my video a thumbs up if you like it, and subscribe to my channel for more honest, hands on reviews. Stick around.